in my meditations, I was brought back to a memory. Do you remember a time? Now, some of you may not have had this experience, but when I was a kid, we did not have cable. We did not have streaming. We had an, an antenna outside. Remember that? And when there happened to be a windstorm or rain or whatever, you know, and, and again, we didn't have a whole lot of channels to choose from. So here the families gather around the TV set and we're, we're getting ready to watch, you know, the wonderful world of Disney or something that, you know, we've been looking forward to. And the wind would blow the antenna in a different direction and there would be all this disturbance. I'm going to invite you now to remember how that felt. <laughs> Just remember the frustration, the, you know, the angst that went around that. It's like, who gets to put on their coat and go outside and be in the rain and try to get the antenna? And, and in those days, there was no cell phone. So you kind of had to like try to remember and try to see in the dark where, which way that would go. And sometimes that meant that you had to come back inside, look to see how the signal was, and then go back again. And then I thought about, wow, you know, that's very, very, uh, a great symbol for what we're talking about here when it comes to um, that disturbance, <laughs> that disturbance of the signal. Because in order for this presence that is in me, that is in you to fully be embodied, to come into this life and to have an impact, there needs to be a clear signal. Now, today, we don't have those antennas. I mean, maybe some people do. We have Wi-Fi. We have streaming services. So for the most part, we get a good signal that way. And still, there are times when the Wi-Fi goes out. And there we are. <clears throat> In my personal experience recently, I have noticed more intensely because we are in this, we are in this cycle of allowing Christ consciousness to come more into this human experience, to be the lighthouse for others, to be that light in the world. And I noticed in my own experience that some of the disturbances that were going on in my mind, in my heart, had been with me for a while. And in some ways, they had dissipated over time. So the signal was coming through, but it wasn't coming through quite fully. And what it was for me in that was it, there was a pain. Isn't that how it goes? It's like, when we get that feeling that the truth of us is not fully expressing, when the love that's in us is not fully coming through, that it creates some sort of discord in us. So that disturbance can be an, a, you know, a pattern, a habit, <laughs> you know, uh, an addiction of some sort. It can be a disturbance in your mind around the relationships you have, that we have, judging, blaming, looking on the outside for what's disturbing us on the inside. And it never is about that. So I'm just like so grateful to be in this process because what I'm feeling is like there is this great purification that is happening. And it's not just happening for me because I'm feeling it and knowing it in the field that I'm in. So other people around me are going through the same thing. They're letting go of some old things, some old ways of thinking, some old ways of acting, some old ways that are actually limiting that flow of divine presence from coming through. And what I'm noticing too is as I let those things go and allow this presence to come in more, it's just like they fall away easier. They absolutely fall away. It's about letting, let there be light. Let there be light. That means allowing it. 
And so that's the invitation for us all in this time is to really allow and look, notice where those disturbances are. Notice where the signal is broken up and creating that sense of like, oh my God, what's going on here? I'm not feeling a clear signal. And really like allowing it, allowing this light inside of us, allowing that fire of spirit to actually purify 